Hi everyone, uh, in the previous session uh, we have created the container database and also we uh, ran the you know data patch. So there are few more activities uh, pending which has to be uh, done. One is we need to create the you know MG CS schema. So for that uh, you run the 19c environment file and uh, run this particular script okay the, so why it is not running is you need to export every time you need to export this X, uh, SID to CDB dev and then run it oops so just let me check if I'm able to oh oh okay so it was wrong yeah So this is the first step what we need to do and after that we need to create the CDB TNS files uh, so that can be done by uh, running this particular steps so this will create the listener.ora TNS teams .ora. right so what you do you can just to verify if you go to TNS admin just one step before that because CDB all the CDB uh, you know listener.ora will be created in this particular location and all the PDB uh, listeners files will be located in this particular in this particular location okay this is uh, not yet created but you know eventually they'll be created right so just let us verify what is there okay yeah dev cdb so this is the listener.ora and let us see the tns names.ora okay yeah just keep a note about all these so uh, uh, readings so after that uh, yeah we have just verified it after that you can shut down the uh, pdb uh, cdb uh, yeah uh, the cdb the content database because we don't need as of now and uh, then if you can take the backup i just provided the uh, steps to uh, take the backup of the uh, the cdb right so the next steps uh, are uh, for the database upgrade so as you know that uh, uh, with respect to util file directory uh, the util file directory initial parameter is desupported and is part of the database we can refer VDAL or parameter views uh, for information about the util file directory so uh, you can always verify yeah you can verify you can verify the 3.11 section of this particular note id so now we need to uh, connect to 12c and get the current util file locations so what i do is i run the environment file and uh, so what this will do is this will get all the list of util files so it means that these are your uh, util file uh, locations right uh, so yeah which we have which we have seen you can stop your applications uh, you know i have already uh, stopped my you know stopped uh, you can stop the applications and now there are few steps which we need to uh, run uh, on your current 12c uh, database so we will run one by one Yeah, this will never it has never worked for me and we need to remove the mgds this is not from the just remember this is uh, not from 12 19c this has to be done from the 12c so beware of uh, a few things because now the thing is we have 12c 19c of course we have we have brought down the 19c to avoid the confusion uh, okay so we need to run this uh, 
so this is not uh, uh, not applicable for our version uh, this is only if at all you're using uh, you know version prior to 12c so that's the reason why we don't need to run this you can also stop the the current listener yeah so ne the next step is we need to uh, run the uh, database pre pre upgrade the way you run in uh, uh, the way you run in uh, 12c is little uh, different uh, the first thing what you need to do is uh, you know we need to uh, uh, comment the local listener and set the event uh, shut down and restart the to enable the above parameters and run the pre upgrade tool so at this point of time your 12c database is down 12c listener is down 12.12.10 .12 application is down 19c or uh, dev db is uh, 19c dev cdb is down except 12c database everything should be down and you run this particular uh, script right so let's do that so the first thing what we need to do is we just have to go to oracle home dbc vi init okay and uh, go and look for local listener and just comment it and set this event uh, event trace right you set this parameter and you just bounce it right so once that is completed you run this particular script you have to connect to 12c uh, and uh, run a script from 9 you you know you run from 12c because only 12c database is up but the script is available on 19c home so let's run this so this will take for a while uh, so let me pause the session so the script is executed and uh, you know it is going to show us a uh, couple of things like what to be uh, what are the actions to be uh, taken here like for example we need to increase the processes these are the deprecated parameters we need to run this script to compile and OLAP uh, now OLAP has to be dropped by running this particular script and the OLAP uh, and these are all the hidden parameters which we need to comment it out right uh, so why not we do one by one and uh, consider removing this particular parameter so let's just keep it point right okay so after that after that what we need to do is we need to run this particular script after the changes are completed right okay so one at a time one at a time Okay, so let's see. Yeah, processes you increase it. Double is sessions. Search for this and comment it. Okay, so let me comment. Let me pause the session and comment all the things what is mentioned. I made all the uh, changes uh, in that file. So then, what I'll do? 
I will uh, I'll run this particular script and then bounce it and again going to run this uh, char file okay so I executed it however we'll just bounce it and start it and uh, again then run this particular scripts you also have to uh, you know execute this uh, stats gather dictionary stats this is the dbms stats that pop procedure name So let's run it. I'll just pause the session. So we have ran and uh, you can start verifying whether all the issues are resolved or not. As a final checkup before we can do the upgrade. So yeah, so we have ran this script. Let's focus one by one. Okay, so this script has to be run. So let's again run the script. I'm again running the pre upgrade jar file. I uh, you know that. Uh, you know we need to clear all the issues before we can uh, do the upgrade so now let's check one by one uh, okay so far so look, look so okay there is one trace file I need to see why uh, I thought I commented it remaining everything looks good remaining looks good yeah, this one we need to run Oh, a gather status after the upgrade okay that one we can do that okay I think we are looking good uh, I just verify whether this sometimes we have commented it but still it shows yeah see I've seen this so we can ignore this okay so that's about this particular uh, topic so let me uh, so in this topic uh, uh, basically we're preparing the system uh, before the upgrade uh, so we, uh, Oracle has provided you a jar file which we need to run and resolve all the issues before we can upgrade. Thank you.